My name is by Moses or it's by Moon every social media platform and this is social Friday and this is KOT open day and this lady has been trending on Twitter for a while for some of the right reasons and some wrong reasons but she's here to tell a story herself and uh, involve us in some in uh, some discussions con uh, concerning Twitter and concerning Kenyans on Twitter she goes by the name Bossy Bori and she's live on Y254 on Y in the morning Karibu. All right, uh, so I like to give people a chance to introduce themselves because you never know their alias, their AKAs. So your camera is number four. Uh, take it away. Yeah, my name is Possibori Nema. I'm 20 years old and uh, yeah, um, I'm an influencer on Twitter. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so influencer on Twitter. Yes. Uh, another thing that people don't know about you, that you have a whole different, a whole different life that goes on off Twitter uh, and uh, you do your own thing uh, so Twitter is not your only place but we are not going to be talking about that today all right they'll figure that out uh, on themselves uh, you've been trending for a better part of la uh, for a better part of last week yeah. and uh, was this a surprise to you first when you saw yourself trending yeah at first it was a surprise uh -huh. I didn't expect uh -huh. and I didn't so it coming all right so uh, who gave you the news? Who broke the news? Yeah. That you're trending. Okay, I'm on Twitter. I'm an uh -huh. influencer on Twitter. So you so, so mentions, mentions, mentions. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they were increasingly, the uh, requests are increasingly on Gazeka. Uh -huh. So they were becoming so many, and suddenly I noticed uh -huh. on top trends I was trending. And then uh, slowly it came on Kenyan trends, and uh, slowly up to number one. All right. Yeah. So you saw yourself move up slowly and slowly, slowly yeah. and slowly up to yeah. number one. Yeah. All right. So your reason for trending, uh, not so many people understand what happened. Uh, from where you're sitting, yeah. what took place? In a few words, just tell the story briefly so yeah. people can get to understand. Because people have mixed opinions about this. Yeah. So I'll give you the chance to tell us the story. Okay, yeah. Uh, I started trending um, sometime on Saturday. It started on Saturday. There was an image uh, that I had uh, supposedly was taken on uh, sometime last year when I got a scholarship with mm -hmm. Esther Pasari, the mm -hmm. Nairobi Women Rep. Mm -hmm. uh, and that image was cropped with uh, the image on my RV mm -hmm. profile on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And there's some difference. Mm -hmm. This one uh, on, on my profile had filters mm -hmm. and uh, makeup uh -huh. and the other one was uh, had Raw. nothing Raw. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and there was some big difference on uh -huh. it and uh, that was the that was the thing ilianzisha the uh -huh. trend yeah so that is uh, the thing so some people ni meski on it were online villages online villages waka mwa ku jump on the trend uh, waka mwa ku ku tweet people say you were misquoted when you commented on Steve or Simple Boy's post yeah. What did you say exactly on the post? Nikama umepaka foundation. Nikama umepaka foundation. No. Ulipaka foundation. I quote. Oh, you quote. Ulipaka yeah. foundation. Kama swali. You quote. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what was your intention when you asked this question? Like, we intention ni kuna iswali kwani? You see on Twitter, mm -hmm. there are banters. Uh -huh. And uh, it's okay with banter unless they go too far. Uh -huh. And I didn't expect something like that would go too far. Uh -huh. It was just like a simple comment. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, I apologized. Uh -huh. And uh, I didn't, didn't expect it to hurt someone in mm -hmm. a way, mm -hmm. which did, which mm -hmm. supposedly did. And mm -hmm. uh, I regret and I apologized. You apologize to this yeah, person. Yeah. All right. It was a very light question, a very yeah. innocent question yeah. for that matter. Yeah. And you were just trying to create a light moment. Yeah. But things came and blew up on your face. Yeah. Uh, you didn't see this coming. Yeah. All right. Uh, have you seen this happen to another person before it happened to you on Twitter, since you were very heavy on Twitter? Yeah. You've seen okay. this happen to other yeah, people? Yeah. Several. Did you, did you ever imagine it, was, it would happen to you sometime? I expected that mm -hmm. because uh, on Twitter, mm -hmm. okay, you're prone to cyberbullying mm -hmm. at times, and uh, some some get personal. 
and uh, just and that's me just take it to further launch like mm -hmm. mine mm -hmm. okay i didn't expect it to come so personal mm -hmm. uh i just at first when i saw the images i just took it off as a meme and mm -hmm. laughed mm -hmm. but i things were just getting out of hand mm -hmm. they were getting so personal mm -hmm. and uh, that's when i noticed okay this is not okay this is not okay and this yeah. should not happen to anybody else. Yeah, yeah. All right, so moving from this, uh, they, they say humans are uh, learning creatures, yeah? yeah. Uh, so there's so much you've learned from this experience. Yeah, yeah. And just by the fact that you walked in here, uh, your face up, and uh, you're not scared to talk about this. People yeah. are expecting you to be uh, locked up in your room somewhere. Yeah. Uh, but by the mere fact that you came here, it means you've learned something and uh, you walked out of this stronger. Yeah. Uh, what would you tell, uh, first, somebody who has faced cyberbullying? What I can tell someone who has faced cyberbullying, mm -hmm. these things happen. Mm -hmm. They happen. And uh, that's not the end of it. Mm -hmm. I believe, I believe you, there's something positive you can come out of it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, you don't have to go to depression mm -hmm. just because of cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. There's a life ahead. Uh -huh. so being bullied and uh, or getting all the chores, that's uh -huh. not the end of it. Uh -huh. There's a future ahead. So just, just ignore the main comments mm -hmm. and just go with the positive and you'll, you'll go far. All right. Yeah. So, uh, what would you tell the cyber bullies themselves? What I'd say: mm -hmm. words do harm. What words have the power to harm, mm -hmm. destroy? They can humble and they mm -hmm. can encourage. So, mm -hmm. choose your path to destroy or to bring an impact. Mm -hmm. Choose. It's up All right. to choose. So, words have the power to humble, uh, to to destroy, to destroy to encourage. and encourage yeah so pick a struggle yeah. if you want to be the person that destroys uh, like Saturn uh, <laughs> if you want to be the person that encourages like Jesus or if you want to be the person that builds like God pick a struggle yeah. uh, want to bossy bore yourself how can they find you on Twitter now that uh, we can take advantage of this <laughs> and get you more following on Twitter since your business is on Twitter as well yeah yeah just look them straight yeah. into that I'm at bossy bore underscore ke mm -hmm. on Twitter on Facebook bossy bore Naima, and on Instagram bossy bore underscore ke all right yeah so uh, another thing uh, that I just got to learn is that there's no legislation uh, for for prosecuting cyber bullies or yeah. reporting cyber yeah. bullies there's no law uh, per se and uh, uh, did you <laughs> did you feel like we need the law when this happened to you yeah uh -huh. and uh, okay there are twitter rules uh -huh. and uh, i believe uh, when you go through through their twitter rules and uh, regulations you can see uh, there's a part for cyberbullying and i think they mm -hmm. have indicated they are working to put more measures uh -huh. under the twitter rules and regulations all right but this yeah. is under twitter but yeah. uh, as as a sovereign state we don't have that uh, yeah. do you think it's something that we need as a country or this is going to infringe into our freedom of expression yeah i think we really need it mm -hmm. because uh, there's a lot of cyberbullying mm -hmm. there's a lot not only on twitter i'm uh, I mean in other apps too, uh -huh. there's a lot on, on cyberbullying and people are hiding behind the keyboards uh -huh. to, at times they want to deframe and uh -huh. uh, it's, it does affect real life. So uh -huh. cyberbullying can, can even lead someone to depression. So I believe there should be rules. All right. Last week I had a conversation with the, with the psychologist. Uh, what's her name? Uh, but she runs this organization called FaceUp, and this application is for for schools or institutions where people can get to report bullying to 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 the authorities. <laughs> All right. So the app is 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 very genius, but I don't think it can work for for Twitter. But what she told me is that bullies have have a, have, have a problem that they're dealing with yeah, personally. Yeah. So that is what she told me bullies have, have in common. What have you seen that bullies, cyber bullies have in common? What is that one thing you've seen cyber bullies having in common? Okay, something I've noticed, uh -huh. you get, there's, there's a lot of hate uh -huh. or something a burden they've been carrying inside and they just want to throw it on someone. Uh -huh. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's like, 
ni kama ka kitu tu all right yeah, it's yeah. an energy they yeah. have in, inside yeah. them yeah, that they'd one. like to, to spread out yeah yeah or reduce theirs by spreading to spreading others. to other people yeah. so that is something you've noticed with them yeah. all right thank you very much for the insight and yeah. thank you very much for being strong yeah. and thank you very much for sharing your story yeah. uh, the next questions are, are more or less a uh, knowledge base you're going to help <laughs> us understand twitch a little bit more because uh, uh people are complaining there's pornography on twitter is it true and uh should we be wary uh, about leaving our kids on twitter Okay, pornography on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I believe, I believe, if there is pornography on Twitter, mm -hmm. there is a, there is a, there is a message that comes along. This may include sensitive content, mm -hmm. and uh, I think there is less pornography on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree, there is, but mm -hmm. there is less. And uh, once before viewing it, you're mm -hmm. told this content may contain. All right. Sensitive. So Twitter is yeah. trying its best to have regulations uh, to to cap this yeah. when it comes to pornography and nudity. So you are in support of Twitter, right there. All right. Uh, uh, we are told uh, there's a lot of defamation on Twitter, and this is something you experienced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it something that happens on a daily? Is it a, a lot as people presume? Okay, I don't think as a person it's a lot, mm -hmm. but there is defamation on Twitter, mm -hmm. but it isn't a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Politics on Twitter. What do you think about politics on Twitter? I believe uh, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter is an app that most people have taken advantage mm -hmm. to speak to their leaders. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's lots of politics on Twitter, mm -hmm. and I... I I think it's a it's a platform mm -hmm. that they have taken advantage to talk to their leaders, mm -hmm. maybe in a positive way or trying to correct something. Mm -hmm. There is a, Twitter brings a lot of impact on politics. So, yeah. Thank you very much, Boss Boy. You couldn't have said it better. We appreciate you so much. Uh, I'll give you another chance to tell them your Twitter handle yeah. and the other handles that you have, so they can follow you and just uh, have a have a figure, uh, have, have a taste of who Bossy Boy is in person without that, with, with the defamation aside. Yeah. So my handle out at Bossy underscore ke on Twitter and Instagram and uh, Facebook Bossy Boy Emma. Yeah, that's my handle. All right. Thank you very much, Bossy Boy. Uh, Mr. Khalifa, VDJ Khalifa, in uh, about that time, what to lay form? I love to manage you in Sky Lunch, Arusha. Now I'll talk with you. I'm going to talk to 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 you. So atakamani bash, utakuwa na mixes. And on to this, as we wrap this KOT's open day, uh, KOT open day up in Vikonya Social Friday on YN the morning. I'd just like to say one thing about uh, this cyberbullying. As Y254, we don't promote cyberbullying. And uh, as Y254, we promote love, uh, we promote unity. And if you're going on social media, please at least use it to make money or network. Don't use it to defame other people. Don't use it uh, for the negatives that come with it. Just at least, as people say that social media is a waste of time, waste your time making money or making your own networks. That is what Tabari himself, my name is Barry Mo, or it's Barry Mo on every social media platform. Uh, this is Y254, uh, this is Social Friday. We have come to an end. Don't touch that down. We still have a lot lined up for you uh, for the weekend.